After the base coat is completely dried, I use a six inch spatula to scrape any exposed ridges or rough areas relatively smooth. I don't recommend using sandpaper for this process because it's unnecessary and it creates dust. The exception would be to use a 220 grit sandpaper on corner details. Notice the color of the dried base coat I'm working on opposed to the same color when wet to my right. It's important to note that plaster colors show much darker when wet and they lighten at least 40% when dry. To apply the second coat, I'm using a six inch spatula and a mud pan. Apply by keeping the tool flat to the surface, use a small amount of plaster, and apply in thin overlapping cross patterns. Slightly raise the angle of the spatula to spread any excess plaster evenly. This method creates character and color variation in the finish. The second coat may be burnished by taking a flat spatula and ironing over it. This effect increases color variation and creates a higher sheen to the finish, should you desire. Burnishing the second coat is not required. Dramatic effects can be achieved by sporadically adding an accent color over areas of the base coat. Although Vela is an opaque material and will cover any pre-existing color that it's applied over, the second coat can be manipulated by application techniques, creating a semi-translucent effect. In this demonstration, I apply the accent color to designated areas over a dry base coat and allow it to dry. I apply the second coat using the standard technique, but raise the angle of the spatula when applying over the accent color. Raising the angle of the tool removes most of the second coat, exposing subtle shades of the accent color and allow them to show through. Another trick is to add a small amount of the accent color in the corner of the mud pan and mingle it into the finished color. It's important to use caution with this method. The accent color can change the tone of the finished color if it becomes overmixed. In this example, the finished color would become taupe. To avoid tonal changes, keep the colors fresh and discard if they get muddy.